All right, what's going on, you guys? So I had published a video roughly a year ago entitled Creatine and Hair Loss. Um, and at that time, I was experiencing a little bit of hair loss, and I was attributing that to my taking uh, a little bit more of creatine than I usually do. Um, so I wanted to give you guys an update video. Like I said, it's roughly a year later now, um, and I haven't been losing any more hair. As you can see, my hair is nice and thick. I've always had long hair, but... You know, it's nice and thick. It's not really, I don't have any bald spots or anything crazy. Um, so I wanted to make a little video kind of updating uh, my hair progress and my thoughts about creatine um, as of now as it relates to hair loss. I've seen a lot of interesting comments on that video about the genetics related to hair loss and how uh, only people who are predisposed to male pattern baldness through genetics are going to experience early male pattern baldness through uh, taking creatine. So apparently in some cases, creatine can speed up that process if you are already naturally inclined um, to have male pattern baldness. Um, but for me, my opinion is at the time that I was experiencing this hair loss, I weighed about 220 pounds. Um, I, was, I, was in the point, I was at the point where I was bulking pretty heavily um, for, for some powerlifting meats and I was eating a lot more food than normal. I was eating a lot more uh, unhealthy than normal, just, just eating shitty food all around. My blood pressure was high, and I was just, you know, I was just being pretty unhealthy and gaining a lot of weight. Um, for the past, ever since uh, January 2015, I've been cutting. Really, since December 2014, I've been cutting pretty, pretty hard. I've cut my carbs down a whole lot, um, and I've really cut my calories down a whole lot. And I've been cutting ever since then. Um, and I weigh in the low 180s right now, so I'm about 40 pounds lighter. Um, and for the past three months. Um, pretty much uh, April, May, and June, I've had powerlifting meets, and I've weighed about 180 for all those meets, and I've been taking excessive amounts of creatine um, for all of those meets, way more than I was taking in August when I made that first video about creatine and hair loss, and I haven't lost any hair, um, and I'm talking, uh, when I made that video about creatine and hair loss, I was taking 5, maybe 10 grams of creatine a day. Um, for the past three months, I've been taking about four times the recommended serving, so about 20 grams of creatine a day. Then a week before a meet, I would jump it all the way up to 30 to 35 grams of creatine a day for, for up to a week, no longer than a week. But for about three months, I was taking 20 grams of creatine, and I experienced no loss of hair. If anything, my hair has gotten thicker. Um, so basically, I want to say that I no longer attribute my hair loss to, to taking creatine. I kind of attribute it to my unhealthy eating at the time and my weight gain at the time, my blood pressure at the time. I was just eating like shit at the time and I really have cleaned up my diet since then and I really have been eating a lot healthier and a lot better. Uh, and I've lost a significant amount of weight since then. Um, so overall I would attribute my hair loss to my diet if, if that's a thing um, because lately I've been taking a whole lot of creatine and I haven't noticed any hair loss. Um, like I said, at that time when I weighed 220, I was noticing hair, you know, clogging up my shower drain, um, just noticing hair falling out on my clothes, and I haven't noticed any of that in months and months and months and months, pretty much since I started eating healthy, um, my hair loss went away. So I just wanted to say that I kind of think that uh, my previous video was kind of a myth about creatine. I don't think creatine really caused me to lose any hair, so I just kind of wanted to make an update video and say I think it was more attributable to my diet. Um, but apparently reading some of the comments, creatine and hair loss, there is a real correlation between the two. And some people, it can drastically speed up um, your male pattern uh, baldness and something about you know, DHT levels or so something, something crazy like that. So in rare cases, it does cause hair loss, but I don't think it was the cause for me. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope I helped you out. Um, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.